So 313 starts with uh, basically Appa at church and he's given Oma's wedding ring by the resident troublemaker Jimmy Young. Good thing I bring to you and not even think of selling on Craigslist. It's a lovely scene that got cut, unfortunately, uh, but you learn about the history of the ring. When uh, Appa's family was fleeing from North Korea, his mother, she hid the ring by sewing it into the lining of her dress and smuggled it into South Korea. Still just waiting for my change. Oh. My oma gave the ring that my appa gave to her for their wedding. She gave it to my wife. Maybe my oma come back down from heaven and take the ring back because she misses so much. Meanwhile, a lot happened to Janet. We're introduced to a new love interest named Nathan, played by Benjamin Sutherland. This guy's a little bit too much like Jung. Wardrobe amazingly puts them in similar outfits. Despite the fact that he's being this annoying older brother, it's, it's actually about them spending quality time together. There's a lot of stuff happening with her. Raj, or Dr. Mehta, sir. Hey, Gerald, is Janet here? The return of Raj. Raj! I think she should just dump Raj and keep going. <laughs> You're kind of not sure whether she might end up with Nathan or Raj or no one. <laughs> you can't just spring this on someone. I have my own life. I wasn't just waiting around for you. That's what this is about. This is the first year that you really see Handy as like a living, breathing kind of workplace. One of the, my great joys about this season is like this rediscovery of Kimchi and his relationship with Shannon. There's a little bit more of a friendship growing. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! I love this last scene we see where there's this pan of just Kimchi just looking at his buddy and his boss and he's kind of always been on the side of this relationship and now he sees, oh, these kids are gonna be fine. Maybe one day I'll try one of your ketchup monstrosities. No time like the present. Oh. Ew! There's so so much in these stories and in the writing that, that resonate with me as a Korean Canadian. It comes from a place of truth and authenticity and love. And that's what makes this show for me so special. Get your hands up! Get No! What?